Lisa. Play How Great Thou Art by Janice Gaines. I just love this song. I know you guys will too. This is the best way to begin Chef Mommy today. God is good, right? what it was wow but in that season I was just so numb and so anxious and I found that what worked was going back to my roots and to the things mm. and the places where I found the Lord and for me that's really musically that's him I didn't know if I was going to ever feel like singing again yeah um, and so I recorded these hymns that blessed me and how great the art was one of them wow we did them and I got with um this producer Dewan Hill in Nashville mm -hmm. and I thought I want to do the old hymns, but I want to do them in like this Andre Crouch style. Oh gosh, I get it. You know what I'm saying? I it's get like, it. It's like that never gets old never. to me. It just feels so good and I thought, let's wow. put that together. So that was Lead Me. Just pulled me out of a dark place and I thought, well maybe it'll help somebody else. That's so powerful. It, it definitely, every time I hear, if you're going through anything, yeah. just the words to hymns are so... And powerful. Yes, so. they're always theologically complete. Like you want to know how to pray? Yeah. Let's talk about sweet hour of prayer. And you want to talk about the majesty of God? Let's talk about how to pray now. Woo! I'm just saying. Man. So it's just that's how people used to write songs about the Lord. Just this thought that's complete and something about that blessing. So. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing oh, that with us. Thanks for having me. And now I'm really excited because it's fall, guys, and everybody's doing sweet potatoes, pumpkins, squash. Hot! Yes, it's time. I tried to bring my holiday apron because you're the apron queen, and I was like, I gotta bring a hot she did, apron. I think she did really great. This is the cutest holiday apron I was ever. Like, We're gonna and what's bill. in the holiday apron is super cute. They <laughs> number two is on the way. Are you so excited? I really am. It's another little boy. So I'll probably be tired when you see me next year. <laughs> <laughs> Man, going from one to two was like the most challenging yeah. for me and my husband. Woo! Because you're used to doing it one way, you know, and, and, and then, then you have a whole nother person to throw into the mix, but you'll be fine. You're you're a super mom. Pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's get started. We're going to teach okay. you guys how to make this sweet potato pie. I'm going to let you. Okay, so what? Tell you something. They never should have let us get in this kitchen. Nice. Nah, now we just gonna play. They did not know. We can now put it in in our the mixer. mixer. If we took it. All right. Cool. Let me see. Probably like this. And Janice, you know what? While she's doing that, I am going to put. We are not being super women today. It's really easy to make your own crust, but yes, Janice and I decided collectively. As mom, just go, yes. Take a, a shortcut and get a frozen one. Yes. And we chose uh, one by Holy Gluten Free Dedicated yes. Bakehouse because they don't have any allergens and 
Janice knows everything about having food allergies. Yeah. Janice has a food allergy a couple. I am allergic to soy, which is in everything processed for the most part, oh. and tomatoes. And when Gabriel was born, he was allergic to dairy and corn. Oh, corn, the man. other ingredient that's in Did he outgrow them? He did outgrow oh, those. God. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm really happy for it. I mean, I'm happy. Yes. I'm sad he had the allergies. With I'm glad they're long. Yeah, but, yeah. But I'm happy you're here. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this in the oven, guys. It was frozen. We just set it out yeah. to bring it to room temperature, and now we're gonna like let it brown a little bit. Yes. Yeah. If you put the pie in there, it might not get. Oh. Yeah. Yes, man. Boss. That's what get I'm to gonna... work, Chef Mommy the Boss. <laughs> about a cup of white sugar or depending on how I feel. And then you whip that up together. Whip that up together. Whip that up together. Whip that up together. <laughs> what? Sweet potato pie without the spice. Without the spice. Yes. For me, I always have to have cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice at least. Yes. You can throw in, I mean if you, if your grandmama threw in mace, Go ahead and throw in mace, you know, because you might miss it. You know what I'm saying? You might be like, this don't taste right until I put in my mace. Yes. It's up to you. Um, but basically, at least nutmeg, at least cinnamon, and what's the other one I'm forgetting right now? Cloves. Cloves, yeah. That was definitely cloves. Just be gentle with the cloves. Oh, the cloves are so, they can take you to a yeah. place called there. Real yeah. fast. <laughs> All right. So that's looking good. Then we're I'm gonna, gonna turn it down a little bit lower so it won't like go crazy on us. You wanna oh, keep it going? Sure. Then we'll do a teaspoon of vanilla. Mm. Because have you ever tasted like baked, a baked good and it was just a tad bland? Yeah. Huh? Oh, I, I forgot it. about salt. Oh, we probably need salt, salt, right? We need a little salt. Yeah. Because it's probably because it either didn't have vanilla or it didn't have salt. Yes, people don't understand that. They don't get that. Even if you're making something sweet, you must put salt because salt is the flavor. It brings the, the flavor out of everything. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Whether it's savory or sweet. I would say, I would say a whole, about a whole teaspoon of soda. Oh, right. the, um, because it's going to seem like a lot. It's not. Because this is, remember, this is two pies. All right. And then the last thing I think that we have to do is put our milk in. All right. Now, um, put about a half a cup of it. Yeah. Throwing it out with it. <laughs> oh, no. You know I did. I'm going over there and messing yourself up. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> she put on a good makeup and a good hair, but uh, hey. it's gonna be a little messy oh, in the kitchen. Oh, now we're putting in our egg replacer. Okay. Um, and we did three, yeah? Yeah, we did three. Okay. Because a part of what I like about uh, sweet potato pie is just being able to slice it. And yes. I tried it with half of that and it just didn't slice okay. as well. Don't stop to the stuff. Mix it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, real, real smooth. Yeah. Put about half of this in here. Hold it up, girl. That is beautiful. Ah! Spatula. Yes. Just put it in at 350 oh. for about, you know what? I would cover the edges with foil okay. since we pre-baked because it needs to go in for about an hour so it'll really set. Okay. Okay, and you don't want your edges to be like burn. <laughs> but if you cover them with foil, like just take strips of foil, y'all do that right now? Take strips of foil and put it around the edges. It'll then protect it won't burn. Them. That's an awesome tip, guys. Subscribe to the Chef Mommy if you haven't yes. already. And if you like this video, all the leave thumbs up. Yeah. Click the bell on both of our pages. Yeah. And then come back and visit. And make this work! Yeah, we'll put the recipe in the comments. It'll right? be in the comments. Awesome! Guys, remember you can do all things to Christ who strengthens you. Nothing is above you, nothing is too big for you to handle. If you got food allergies, whatever's going on in your life, you can handle it. You just give it to God. And make sure you pick up her CD. Support, support, support. Pick up her CD right now. Download it. It's on iTunes, all the... Yeah, everywhere you get music. Everywhere you get music. And you can listen to it while you prepare for your Thanksgiving meal. Dude. How you like 